first you got Yair Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett for the interim featherweight title. And this will become huge. Again, as we talked about throughout the week, this will become huge after the main event. But someone would be fighting Volkanovski if Islam Mahachev could beat him. This is how that went down. Okay, now Emmett gets a left hand free, lands. Lands one. But yeah, you're doing a good job fighting from the bottom. One minute left, so round two. Come on, Emmett. Oh, he's got an arm bar attempt, doesn't get it. Now he's got the triangle locked on Emmett. Oh no, and Emmett's stuck in there. Not sure if he's got it locked in or not. And he taps, Josh Emmett taps, no. 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 And I don't know what Yair said to Josh Emmett at the end there, but man, unbelievable. You know that hurt Josh Emmett, he had to tap there, but what a fight by both guys and Yair gets to finish. Good, we didn't have to wait long on that. And Yair Rodriguez is the new interim featherweight champion. Yeah, so Yair Rodriguez, the interim featherweight champion. It's going to become large regardless what happens in the next fight. But if Volkanovski falls, he'll fight Volkanovski next. And we're 5, 6, and 1. So now we're just hoping we get the main event correct at the end of the day. We need to get Islam Mahachev right. What's up? This your boy, Chris Cross. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button in one of the links below. Then click on one of them clips up above and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Peace.